are always interested in cuticle care, and I feel like one of the big questions we always get is, um, you know, how much to cut fat cuticles or fish fat cuticles. So, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about that, Amy? Yeah, sure. Um, the important thing is to always stay on the nail plate um, and to just gently push back until you kind of feel a stop. Um, because the back line is the live tissue. So, so if I'm a client and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm at, um, I don't live in Seattle, so I can't mm -hmm. come into Julep, what am I looking for from my manicurist? What should they be doing and what should it feel like from my side and what should they not be doing? Well, for one thing, it should never hurt. <laughs> so if they're causing any kind of pain or if they're tugging at your cuticles, then I would just ask them to stop because um, they're obviously not doing it correctly. You know, it's amazing. A lot of women say that getting a manicure feels like going to the dentist, which seems crazy to mm -hmm. me yeah. that it feels painful. Yeah, it should not hurt. Um, if you gently push back the tissue, you're basically just lifting it up off of your nail plate because cuticle grows up onto the nail plate. Um, and you're just pushing back the dead tissue so that you can get rid of that and have a healthy looking nail plate and a better looking manicure too. So why does the manicure look better if you push back the dead cuticle? Well, for one thing, you can get the polish back further, um, closer to the cuticle line, um, so it doesn't look like there's any grow out with your polish. Um, as well as just making the nail plate nice and smooth so there's no skin adhered to it. Uh, and um, how do you know the difference between live and dead cuticle? That's a very good question, a very common question. What I like to tell people is if it's white, um, it's dead tissue. So as you can see, as I'm pushing back, all this white tissue that I'm creating is dead tissue. Um, anything that's skin colored or transparent is live tissue. And you want to leave that there. That's there to protect your nail. Right, and what can happen if you push back the cuticles too much? Yeah, if you push back and especially nip too much, um, you can actually create a worse problem than you started with. You create hangnails, um, and you're going to take away that protection, and so you're more prone to get bacteria or infection underneath your cuticle line. You know, one time I had a manicure um, before I started Julep, and um, it all of uh, my nails, like on the cuticles, right underneath, and it wasn't right at the cuticle line, but it was almost like two or three millimeters. <laughs> I'm Canadian, so I talk in millimeters, um, but I grew up in Canada. But um, uh, it just like a little bit under the cuticle, it, I started having crazy hangnails everywhere. Is that because of the way they cut back the cuticles? Yeah, if they cut back the live tissue, your, your natural um, nails in instinct is to peel back um, because it's cut open that live tissue and so your skin will split and just peel back and that's what's creating those long hangnails. Yeah, oh that's my gosh, right that's now. awful. Yes, not good. We need our cuticle there. <laughs>